Hey folks, Engineer775 here in a basement um, where I find myself a lot. Um, what we're going to do today, we're building just a little manifold here. Um, sometimes your wells, sometimes people have nice shallow wells. Um, they're deep wells, but the waters come way up in the well. So what we're going to do here is use a booster pump. I'm going to take water that comes into the house. We're down in the basement. The actual the well is above us. And so what we're going to do is suck water out of this side. And we're going to take it through the booster pump and then bring it back in this side and boost it to the house. And what you do is you put a check valve in between it so the water just doesn't go in circles. So we're going to cut this system into um, their house plumbing, suck water out of here. If the power goes out and they don't have their well pump, they'll pull the water through the um, existing line that comes from the pump, bring it through the booster pump, the Dankoff booster, through the pre-filter, and then bring it here and we'll boost this, this blue tank here. You want to check this out, it's a nice bladder tank. And then the booster pump, which you've seen before, you can get a shot of that. And um, that's what we're going to tie in here. So we are uh, coming over here and we'll show you where we're going to tie this in. Uh, not a lot of room to work in here, but we're in essence going to tie this little manifold into this line. And uh, we'll have shutoffs and check valves and be able to isolate it. And so we'll have an AC system. We're going to have a, basically an AC system and a DC system. The DC obviously will uh, run off of, this one's going to run off a 12 volt battery bank and we can bring solar down to uh, charge the battery bank or maintainer. Um, and so um, this site has an alternative energy source that they can actually run a triple charger and charge the battery. So alright, that's it. Uh, we'll uh, show you the finished product. Okay, we built our little booster manifold, and we're gonna let me cut out a section over here to uh, put it in. So this is uh, the moment of truth. We got to put this in, shut everything off, turn the pumps back on, make sure everything's working good. Okay, to continue our shallow well. It's actually a deep well with a very high static water level. So we're uh, again sucking the water through from the well into the Dankoff booster. So we have our um, we've shut the, the grid pump off and allowing this customer to uh, run off of the battery power for a while. So our first step is uh, to uh, actually we're maintaining this battery. We're a very inexpensive little battery charger for now. So um, this will eventually be replaced with a uh, solar charger. Eventually we're going to put in one of these little flex charge um, solar chargers, battery chargers that you've seen before running off the of solar. But for now we're uh, charging the battery. This is a little speed charger that will run at 2 amps, 6 amps or 10 amps and you can set it for lead acid, uh, AGM or standard batteries, AGM and uh, gel cells. So that'll just uh, keep them maintained because right now there's no other way to put power into the battery. But eventually we'll have the solar. We're going to run the solar out um, through the wall over here and charge charge the battery to get them completely off grid. So it is uh, two systems to supply water to this home and on grid and off grid. The nice thing about it, they've got a lot of capacity and uh, pump about 55 gallons. You have about 55 gallons of storage before the, the pump cycles so that's really nice and uh, we're good. Everything's in, no leaks, very happy with that and we're out of here. So anyway, um, sometimes you can get away with this if you have a shallow well, uh, sh uh, very high static water level. I think it was five foot on this well, five foot from the top. And then we're in a basement, and the well is that's kind of ground level right there. So we're below. So we're actually siphoning the water, and thankfully it was an inch and a quarter line coming down uh, from the well. So we have uh, uh, not as much friction loss as you would with a smaller plumbing system. So we're good to go here and uh, I guess that is that's all she wrote. Uh, Engineer 775 back here at the well head for this uh, shallow booster pump setup. This is a standard well. The neat thing is because of the valley you see the valley that we're in uh, it's got a great recovery rate and not only that it has a very high static water level. Let me just explain. The static water level is the distance from where I am right now down to the top of the water in the casing. A lot of people say, I have a well that's 300 foot deep. 
500 foot deep. That doesn't really matter. Um, what matters is where's the water and how much water do you have to work with in terms of recovery rate. So where they placed the, this well was very smart. Probably the only place they could put it. But the recovery rate is good. And because of the lay of the land, the static water level is very high. Uh, sometimes um, wells are artesian. Uh, it's not technically artesian, but the water just will come bubbling out of the well and you have to cap it with a pressure cap. But this is not quite there. It's about five foot down below me is the top of the water. So what I'm doing with that pump is I'm sucking the water up through the existing submersible pump but I'm really only sucking it from five foot down. That pipe is, drop pipe is, this drop pipe all the way down to the pump is full up to about five feet from the top and then it just sucks water through here. Now if I open this spigot here it would suck air in and it would cavitate the pump. We don't want to do that. So anyway, nice setup here. It's unique. Uh, not everybody can get away with this but it allows the battery, the pump, and the entire system to be out of the weather and just pull the water from the well. So I'm very happy with it. It's working really well. It's pumping about 55 gallons on each cycle. So you have 55 gallons of uh, 55 to 60 uh, PSI water to do whatever you need to do, all with a little Denkhoff Flow Light Booster Pump. Okay, I think that's enough for this video. If you've got any questions, let me know. But when it comes to wells, again, the static water level is that critical number that I would need to help you if you um, have questions or want to know what you're capable of doing at your location. I need to know the distance from the ground down to the top. And while I'm doing that, come here. Let me, uh, let me. Most well caps have some sort of vent system on them. If you unscrew that vent and take uh, small pebbles, there's a chlorine tablet, but small pebble, small rock, and drop it through that hole, and time how long it takes to, for when you drop it to it hits the top of the water and use about 20 foot per second and that'll be close that's not perfect but it's close enough to determine what kind of will you have okay engineer 775 signing off